Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. In this video, I want to show you how we change the battery capacity on a Sunny Island inverter with the SMA Sunny Remote Control. So to change the battery settings, so the, uh, the battery size and battery type, and also even to create a new system, what you need to do is go into the Sunny Remote Control and adjust the settings in there. But if you've, if you've tried that before, it won't let you actually adjust most of those parameters. So what we need to actually do is uh, go through the initial configuration of the inverter. And to do that, what I'd recommend is you turn off all the loads in the, in the property. And so you would turn off the main switch in your switchboard so there's no, uh, no loads going on. And then over at the sunny island, what we want to do is turn it off. So we want to press the O button and press it once the uh, inverter light goes orange so it's on standby it's available but it's not uh, not actually putting out any power at the moment and then we hold down the o button and you see that's gone completely blank now what we want to now do is start up the inverter with the pressing down the i button we press it once there and if we come down to the sunny sunny island here sunny remote control when we're on this startup screen, we right now we want to press and hold the boot button there. And then you see it's come up on here with start menu, start system. But then we have also have the option to, uh, to set up a new system. We also have the option to set up a new battery and new cluster configuration, emergency charge and things like this. So this is the, uh, the menu you actually go to if you want to uh, change the system parameters, specifications, or change the battery amp hours or the type of battery. So that's where you would go. You would set that all up. And then after that, we can just start system. So we press down on that. Um, do we want to accept? Yes, we do. Just going to write to the SD card. And now we're just on start inverter. We want to hold down that button there, hold, hold it down. And now it's outputting power again. So if we just go over to the Sony Island here, you can see the green top inverter light is on as well as a battery light. And in our case, the generator is orange, which is the, uh, the grid in our case. So it's available, but not in use. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. If you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland and you've got an issue with your Sunny Island inverter, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. If you're somewhere else around the world, we recommend you get in touch with a local solar accredited electrician for further assistance.